In this lesson, we're going to look at a practical example of binding this. If you're newer to working with this and binding it in different ways, you may be wondering, hey, how do I apply this or where is a use case where this might be helpful? Now, one instance in particular that can be very helpful is when assigning event listeners, because sometimes you want that new function to know about the object that is calling it and remember some things about it, and we could use binding in order to do this. So let's take a look at binding in action with event listeners and how that could be helpful to us. So first of all, to start, what we have here is we are clicking on a link and we are getting out a log of that link itself. So just to show you real quick what we have here in the code, uh, we have a container object, which is the main element here. We have some posts that are being created. And then for each post, we're calling render post. And then render post is simply going to make an H2 make a link tag with the title in it, and then append that to the page. Now we'll also see on line 43 here something very important, which is we are attaching an event listener. So we basically create this markup on the fly, attach it to the H2, and then we look inside the H2 and said, hey H2, any link you got, which we know is only going to be one, add an event listener when it's clicked, call log title. Now if we come down to log title, we'll see that we are calling this here, console log this and yeah we got use strict in mode okay so by default we have to ask ourselves when we add an event listener and we call our function remember this is a function reference so it's going to lose binding to this what that means is that by default this should be undefined this should be an error but when we do it in the browser we could see that hey we are getting the link itself so what that tells us is that in this instance, when we're adding a click listener to a function, that this is going to be bound to whatever element it was there. So we might have also seen like we could pass um, the event object and we could say event.target and we would get the same thing, right? So that's what this is going to get us by default. However, there is a more helpful thing. What if when we clicked on this link, we wanted to show the content? Now content is saved up here inside of this, but it's never rendered to the page. So it's not there, it just exists in memory. So if we want to do something like this dot content, ah, that's going to get us undefined. So what we could do is when we're inside of this render post object or uh, function and we have our post object, we could bind post to log title. So if we come down to log title here and we do bind post, that means that this down here is now going to refer to this post object. So we could do this dot content and get what we expect. So in fact, I will uncomment out the line below it. We could see this dot title and then this dot content. When I click on one, notice that now I get the title and the content coming out. And this could be really helpful because how would we get this information otherwise? Let's say we're building out a page with an API, we load the whole page, and then we just want to click and get some details about that particular link. Well, in the past, we'd have to do something like maybe grab the idea of it, make a new request, and do all of that. However, in this case, with binding, we have bound the post object to this log out log title function and now it knows exactly what we want it to know so we wouldn't have to make an, another API call or another call for another post so in that case it could be something really helpful and this is a common example of when using event listeners if you don't want this to refer to um, the actual event target then you would want to assign some binding here and pass in a new value and this is a great example of when we would do that so just want to show you a little example in action of binding this when you might use it how it's done feel free to look over this example play around with the different ways that you could do this with bind post setup and without it and what the differences are there you may also begin to think about some other scenarios where you might want to start binding things and it really just has to do with when you want to be passing data along that is remembered especially if you're using the this syntax